Hello, welcome back to another crochet stitch. This is Bruna and today we are going to learn how to crochet a super fun wavy chevron stitch. I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. And for this stitch you can use any yarn that you want. I am using here a DK number three. This one is the Bravissimo 50 by teslan.com and I'm using here blue, yellow, pink and red. And then for the tools I'm using a 4.5 millimeters hook, a small pair of scissors and a tapestry needle so that we can do all the weave ends. So I really hope you like it and now let's begin and first go ahead and get your first shade. I am using blue. This stitch it's a multiple of six plus two so we are going to be starting with a slip knot and then from here you can start your chain and for my swatch I'm going to be doing a chain of 30 plus two so in total I'm going to be having a chain of 32. So I have here my chain of 32 so what you're gonna have to do now is to skip that very first chain not the one on the hook the actual chain go into the following chain and then we are going to single crochet and now you are going to single crochet all the way down into every stitch. So I got here at the end, this is my last single crochet. Now we are going to chain one, turn project and then we are going to single crochet into the very first stitch. So we are not counting the chain one as a stitch. So now we are going to be working a half double crochet into the following stitch, a double crochet into the next stitch, and then three treble crochets into the next stitch. So you're going to be wrapping twice around the hook, going into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's a treble. And then you're going to be doing two more treble crochets into that same stitch. So we are going to be having three trebles into the same stitch. Now into the following stitch, we are going to be working a double crochet and then half double crochet into the following stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch. And this is going to be the sequence we are going to be repeating all the way down. So from the half double crochet to the single crochet. So next stitch is going to be a half double crochet, next stitch double crochet, three treble crochets into the following stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, and then single crochet into the following stitch. So this is what we are going to be doing into this very first row. So keep on repeating the same steps all the way down and then I'll meet you at the end. So at the end, I'm going to finish here with a half double crochet. So I've done my kind of my last shell here, as you can see, following the same steps. So I'm going to finish with a half double crochet and a single crochet right at the end. And here we have the second row now completed. We can then chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. And we are going to bring the following shade we are using. I am using yellow. And we are going to be working on the right side of the second row. So the first row will be now here on the reverse. So the right side of the first row, it's here on the back. So just leave like this, exactly how you finished. And we are going to be attaching the following shade into this very first single crochet. So with the yellow, I'm going to be creating a slip knot. And then I'm going to be attaching into the very first single crochet. So going to that first single crochet, you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to leave exactly like this because we have to decrease here at the beginning. So the beginning will be a little bit different. And then you're going to go into that next stitch and then you're going to pull up a loop and now we are going to yarn over and pull through all the loops together. So now we are going to be doing one single crochet into the next two stitches and then into the middle 
treble crochet into the following stitch, we are going to be doing three single crochets into the same stitch. And now we are going to be doing one single crochet into the next two. So this is how it's looking. And now we are going to decrease into the next three stitches. So now you're gonna go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, keep that on the hook. Next stitch, pull up a loop, keep on the hook. And then the following stitch, pull up a loop and keep that on the hook. And now all you have to do is to yarn over and pull through all the loops together. So now we are going to basically repeat everything that we did here at the beginning into the following shell that we have. So we are doing one single crochet into the next two stitches and then into the following one in which is the middle treble crochet we are going to be doing three single crochets into the same stitch and then one single crochet into the next two stitches and now we do decrease into next three stitches so go into next stitch pull up a loop following stitch pull up a loop next stitch pull up a loop keep those all on the hook like this now you can yarn over and pull through all the loops and the decrease is done and this is what we are going to be repeating all the way down so i'm going to continue repeating the same steps and then i'll meet you right at the end i've done here my three single crochets on top of the middle treble and then I'm finished with four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. So you're just going to keep on repeating the same steps. So one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then at the end, we need to do exactly the same as we did to the beginning here. So we are going to decrease into those two stitches. So go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, keep that on the hook. Following a stitch, pull up a loop, keep that on the hook, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all the three loops on the hook like this. So now we are going to be doing the following row exactly the same as the previous one. So chain one, turn project. So the chain one does not count as a stitch. So first we are going to decrease into the very first two stitches. So you're gonna go into the first stitch, pull up a loop, keep that on the hook. Next stitch, pull up a loop, keep that on the hook, and then yarn over and pull through all the three loops, just like this. So now we are going to be doing one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then into the next one, in which is the middle single crochet from the 03 single crochets group. So into that we are going to be doing three single crochets into the same stitch. And now we are going to be doing one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then decrease into the next three stitches. So go into the following stitch, pull up a loop, keep that on the hook. Next stitch, pull up a loop, keep that on the hook. And then following stitch, pull up a loop, keep that on the hook and then yarn over and pull through all loops together. And then we are going to be doing one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then three single crochets into the next stitch in which is the middle single crochet. And then one single crochet into the next two stitches. And now decrease into the following three stitches. So pull up a loop into the next three stitches, yarn over and pull through all loops. And now you can repeat the same all the way down. So I got here at the end and I have two stitches left. So I've followed all the same steps all the way down. And then at the end you should finish with two stitches. And then all you have to do is to decrease into those two last stitches. So pull up a loop into the next stitch, keep that on the hook, and then pull up a loop into the last stitch, keep that on the hook, and then yarn over and pull through the three loops on the hook. And now we can fasten off, so chain one, cut off the yarn, and fasten off. So now here we have row number four now completed. And what you have to do now before you attach the new shade, you want to turn your project 
on the right side. So the last row is going to be with the reverse facing you. So we want to keep the right side of the second row always, always facing you when you are attaching the new shade here into row number five. So go ahead and get the next shade you are using. I am using this baby pink. So you're going to be making a slip knot with the next shade. So going to that very first single crochet stitch, insert your hook into that, and then you're going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So attaching with a single crochet, and then we are going to chain two. So now we are going to be doing a treble crochet into the next stitch, but we have to kind of do joint with this chain that we've created at the beginning, the single crochet and the chain two. So you're going to be wrapping the yarn twice around the hook. You're going to go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and now you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, keeping those two last loops on the hook. And then now you're going to yarn over and pull through the last two just like this. So we've joined the chain with the next treble crochet. So now we are going to be starting with some different stitches. Now this row is going to be completely different from the others. So we are going to be working a double crochet into the next stitch and then half double crochet into the following stitch single crochet into the middle single crochet so the next stitch single crochet now half double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the following stitch and now we have to do three treble crochets together into the next three stitches so you're going to be wrapping the yarn twice around the hook you're going to go into the next stitch pull up a loop. Now you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, keeping those two last loops on the hook. And then you're going to be wrapping the yarn twice around the hook, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and keep the last loop on the hook. And then you're going to be doing one more into the next stitch. So wrap the yarn twice around the hook, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, keep the last loop on the hook. Now we are going to be having four loops on the hook, as you can see. And then all you have to do is to yarn over and pull through all the loops together. So this is a treble crochet decrease into the next three stitches. I know it sounds confusing, but it's going to look amazing. You can see that already, right? And now we can start again, repeating the same steps. So we are going to be doing double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the following stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the following stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. And now we are going to be doing three treble crochets together into the next three stitches. So let's do this one again together. So wrap the yarn twice around the hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, keep the last loop on the hook, wrap the yarn two times around the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, keeping the last loop on the hook. And now you're going to be doing one more into the last stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all the loops. So this is how this one is looking now. And we are going to be repeating exactly the same as we did into this section, all the way down into every wave that we have here. So I'm going to be doing the same steps all the way down and then I'll meet you right at the end so that we can do the ending together. So now I got here at the end, as you can see, and we are going to be doing two treble crochets together here at the end. So you're going to be wrapping the yarn twice around the hook, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, keeping the last loop on the hook, and then wrap the yarn twice around the hook, insert your hook into the last stitch, in which is the decrease that we did at the end, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, 
keep the last loop on the hook and now all you have to do is to yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. So simply what you have to do is to chain one, turn project, go into that very first stitch, you will see that we have the decrease here with the treble, just go into that very top stitch, so don't look into kind of the middle here, just kind of at the top, find that very first stitch, so we are not counting the chain one as a stitch, and then single crochet into this very first stitch, and now all you have to do is to single crochet into every stitch down. I got into my last two stitches here, and here, right, right at the end, you will see that you have the treble and then the chain that we've created at the beginning. You want to make sure that you just get the stitch and not the chain. You can always go back and count to see if you have the 31 stitches because you want to make sure they have the same amount as the very first row that we did with the single crochets. So now you can start the pattern repeat again. So at the end, once you did all the single crochets, chain one, cut off the yarn, fasten off, and now we got into the pattern repeat. So now here we have row number six now completed and this is how it's looking like. We have finished on the reverse and this is how you want to keep to go into the next sequence. So now we have reached the pattern sequence. So one to six is the pattern repeat that you want to keep in mind to create as many sequences as you want for as long as you want until you have created the pattern that you are doing, basically, until you have reached the number of rows you need for your pattern that you are doing. So I'm just going to turn to show you the right side. So this is how the right side looks like. And if you want to keep the right side in mind, you can also add a little stitch marker into the right side so you know that this is always going to be the right side. So what I'm going to be doing now is show you the following and the next rows, so rows number seven and eight, just so that you know exactly how to begin once you've finished here number six, how you're going to continue now, uh, but it's following the same steps. So first you wanna make sure that it's on the, on the reverse, so here is the right side, so I'm going to turn so the next row, when you first start the new sequence, you want to make sure that it's on the reverse. So here we have the reverse and we are going to be starting into the very first single crochet that we have here. So single crochet all the way down. So we are repeating exactly the same as we already have here. So single crochet, row two, then row three, four, five and six right on top of this. So I'm going to get my next shade. If you want, you can go back to blue, but I want to add the red right here because I think it gives the most beautiful effect ever if you have four shades, but you can always use three and you're always going to have the same sequence all the way up. So with the red, I'm going to be making a slip knot and then you're going to get the project and you're going to find that very first single crochet that you have here. We can see that we have the chain one so we are not counting that we have the single crochet and if you want you can always go back and count to see which one is your stitch number 31. So this one is the 31 for me. So you're going to go into that stitch and then you're going to insert your hook and then you're going to pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two. So that is going to count as the very, very first single crochet. And now all you have to do for the pattern repeat is first create one row of single crochets. So now just repeat exactly the same from the beginning again. So single crochet all the way down first. So I'm getting here at the end and I'm just completing my single crochet row, as you can see. So I have single crochets all the way down. And we can see that the right side is still at the back. So now we have to chain one and then we have to turn our project. So now we repeat again from the beginning, from row two. I'm just going to be starting with you. So let's recap this row one more time with you, just so you know how to begin this row. 
So we are going to single crochet into that very first single crochet so we are not counting the chain one as a stitch. And then we are going to half double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the following stitch, and then three treble crochets into the next stitch, all into the same stitch. So three treble crochets. And now we do a double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the following stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch. So you can see that we are now repeating exactly the same steps that we did into row number two. So follow the same all the way down, repeating the same steps. So as you can see, I got at the end following the same steps, I got my double crochet into the previous stitch. So now to finish it off, I'm going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch and then a single crochet into the last stitch. Then I'm going to chain one, cut off my yarn, and then I'm going to fasten off. So this is how this beautiful stitch is looking like now with eight rows. And what I'm going to be doing is just finishing my next four rows that I have to do in which are three, four, five, and six here, right on top of this one. So you're going to be following exactly the same steps. If you want, you can go back and watch the video, rewatch the steps that I did, and you'll know exactly what you have to do. Just wanted to make sure that I showed you the next two so you know exactly how you're going to be starting the next sequence. So now here I have the next sequence now completed. You can see how this one looks and you can see how colorful it's going to be if I continue. So that's why I wanted to add four colors instead of three, but it's going to be completely up to you. Now we have to weave in all the ends. You can see that I'm here on the reverse and I did all the weave ins of the other ends that I had. So let's do this two together now. It's pretty simple. You're gonna choose one of the ends. You're going to be threading the end into your tapestry needle. So to weave in, I just go through a couple of stitches and I match the shade of the weave in. So I'm using the yellow, so I'm going to be doing into the yellow. And then all you have to do is to skip one little loop and then go back into those same stitches. And then again, skip one little loop at the beginning and then go back into those same stitches. Do three times in total. And now the weave-in is completed. Cut off the yarn and you are done. So now you can do the same into the one at the top. I'm going to now remove my stitch marker because I'm done with my swatch. This is how it looks like. And this is this beautiful stitch that we have learned in today's video. Um, this stitch, um, it's called the wave and chevron stitch because we have some waves. And the chevron is basically the one that we did with the two rows of single crochets. And then the waves would be the shells that we have um, that we did with the trebles and the double crochets. So it's basically a mixture of the two. That's why it's called the wave and chevron stitch. So I really hope you have enjoyed learning this super stunning stitch. And if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch more tutorials just like this one. And also, if you end up using this stitch, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, on Pinterest, if you post any pictures using this beautiful stitch in any project that you do so I can see and show you some love. So thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.